Hello everyone. It is my honor and a privilege to be introducing you yet another episode of Success Principles by Successful Principles. My name is Kamalneet Singh and it's it's really a privilege for me to be doing this show and that too with some very 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 uh, popular educators across the globe and we are bringing to you the best of the best parenting ideas so that you can make a difference in your life and in the life of your kids. You know they say that in our country we have everything right from building a pin to building a plane but the moment it comes to parenting there is a lot of hit and trial that happens. Now there is nothing wrong with hit and trial, one can experiment but sometimes the damage of an experiment which is not well thought through is irreparable and that is why we brought this series to you wherein educators from different parts of the world are coming forward to give you these inputs so that you can build the most most beautiful relationship of a parent and child a cherished one and on this episode today we have somebody very very special we have with us Dr. Savita Aroda thank you very much for your time and taking out time for this uh, episode now our guest today is extremely special you know sometimes you talk about that there are people who would focus on one part of uh, you know education yet we have somebody with us who believes in a holistic education a total all-round development Dr. Savita Aroda has been in the industry in the field of education for 27 years this is more than two and a half decades and has had the privilege to receive various awards various accolades from different different industries and it's my honor and a privilege to have her on this show today now she's somebody who believes that a child should have a set of actions, a set of attitudes which contributes to his overall success. Somebody who is a prolific orator, somebody who is a writer, somebody who believes that every child has a huge potential within them. Now over her 27 years of education, she has been very much focused on, she's kept the child at the center of education and believes that life is, now this is very powerful and I'm, you know, I was reading something about her and I came across this wherein she said, you know, life is beyond books as well life is about your actions life is about your attitudes life is about how you behave life is about how you deal with life and uh, such powerful messages coming from her and and I'm, i i feel that you know this is something that should reach out not only to educators but such messages should be available to the parents so that they can look at a different frame while raising their kids now she is the recipient of the prestigious National Teachers Award by the President of India and has many many feathers in her hat. Somebody who believes in life skills education and feels that everybody should be ready, re should be really ready for the real life and has authored books, numerous books right from class 1 to class 8 on life skills and the series is called Dew Drops. It's my honor and a privilege to have you with us on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for uh, explaining me in such a huge paragraph. I think uh, you have thrown much responsibility on me to speak today because uh, you have spoken everything. <laughs> oh, what, what in reality a parent should know that what a student is, what parenting is. Uh, I have been listening to you also and you are also one of the person who is working very hard about all these kinds of things. So, uh, as far as you ask our experiences and you want to uh, throw some light on the parenting side where you feel that we can uh, give you the real experience because right. we live with students, not only with students, I must say we live with parents. Very true, very true. And that's and in fact the yes. reason that your inputs, uh, they course. make a huge difference. Of course, I when a child, when parent comes with the child in the class nursery admission, for the nursery admissions, I think uh, uh, it's not today, but long back from uh, past two decades, I have been telling every parent who comes with the child that uh, I tell the parent, uh, rather the mother, that you should feel that you are also admitted today. Right. The reason being, raising a child is a 20 years project. Okay, so when a parent of 20 to 25 years old is uh, being raised up in an environment Correct. and now he is going to give birth to the new generation. So that new generation is coming to us. So in that way I feel that it becomes the responsibility of the leader of the school to recall that 
it is your admission to to the new generation. That, that's a very powerful <laughs> message to all the parents out there. So, uh, if you are yet to admit your child in nursery, remember <laughs> you are not just admitting your child, but you are also getting admitted yes. in the whole process. You know, uh, we, we have been talking to parents, you have been talking to parents, I have yeah. been talking to parents. Uh, there is something that, that always comes up in any conversation with the parents, which is that, you know, whenever you ask them that what is it that you really want for your kids, and they, they always have this one thing, that our children are successful, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, I, and I laugh, ki, but they should become successful. You know, it's it's a deep mm-hmm. desire that every parent has. I'm a parent too, so every parent has this desire that the kids should become Get successful the best in life, place, yes. and they should do whatever best they can. Now, uh, with your experience, with your ideas, what do you think? Uh, what does it take for a child to be successful in the real world? Okay. <laughs> I think if a child is just a newborn bird, I think he should be given the most flexibility, even at school and at home. Then only he can spread his wings. So I believe that the homeschooling which they have done for three years or three and a half years, let's say four years, whatever years they have spent with the parents, that is their first schooling. So a parent who has the ambition for a holistic development school area or something like that, he should be very much clear, pair, the whole, I mean the parent, not only the father or the mother, both of them should know their responsibility, their role, which they have given the child in those three years. Because that is the foundation. Sometimes we forget that home is the first school. When the child gets birth, their parent is, it's very easy to become a parent, true. but true. very difficult to do parenting. Very true. And very that, difficult. That's profound. So, uh, yes. That's so a profound every, message. Yes. Every parent should understand that it is not uh, a child's play Correct. to get a child in their home, Correct. but they should play with the child right. when the child comes, oh, which they forgot. I think that, that's a brilliant. <laughs> I'll try to see. Uh, Jitne maine badam khayein zindagi mein, will that come in handy or not? Let me, let me try to juggle the line. Yes. So it's not a child's play. It's not about the child's play. What you said is that it's I about you that playing. I said it is not a child's play to have a child, child, but you have to play with the child, so which is very important. It is very important. It's not a child's play to have that child, and uh, but you have to play with the child for the real child to come yes, out. Yes, yes. Mujhe lagta badam kaam kar rahe. You remind me of my father in law. My father in law keeps on saying that, you know, Badam Khane Se, and I'm sure when he sees this video, he would laugh. He keeps on saying that, you know, Badam Khane Se, Akal Nyati, Thokar Khane Se. But you know, the the very reason to do this series is also that, is it necessary? To make all the mistakes and learn and that's in fact one of the reasons behind mm-hmm. this that the parents should not have to go through that struggle and that's the reason if when your inputs come in uh, it will save them that thokar yes you know? to an extent it will yes, save them yes, that thokar yes. and they'll be they'll be on a fast route uh, mm-hmm. to the right way of parenting so you have been uh, very very successful you have got you know the bharti public school under your leadership has earned a huge reputation in the market. You you are seen as very, very successful. You have done a lot of successful things. Uh, mm-hmm. The way uh, you have handled the school talks about your success. So I'm going to dive a little deeper into your success. Okay. And uh, it's time to know from you that what made you successful and what is your success mantra? Before your question, if you give me a chance, I must share it with you that uh, just a week before, yes. we got the Holistic Development Award also, rank 1. Many, many so, congratulations. So the certificate a... is lying there only. Yes. So I was just letting you know because Holistic Development has to be studied by the leaders first. Correct. It's a what exactly, on the yes, what exactly it is. Right. People say that our school provides all facilities Correct. and all. It's, right. it's not that facility the child is in need of. True. It's something the emotional touch which a child needs. If a teacher and the uh, teachers and the leader, those who are working in that environment where the child is being groomed up, 
that environment should give them that kind of touch you know where a student should feel that what is inside me is better than the circumstances outside also so that's only i wanted all the time that even the parent should feel that wherever i am at present right. that's my destiny i am here but right. let me become the prone person to work out for my destiny Wonderful. they should not only feel the father should not feel that i am the financer i am paying a lot of fees yeah. so my I, job is done i love that message of all the fathers out there <laughs> all the fathers out there normally <laughs> i am not very yeah. feminist but i am yeah. just telling you that it becomes the duty of the mothers to look after all these things child especially in right. the junior uh, sections right. and father says ki isko main kya padhau nursery ka bachcha kya padhau so he feels that i'm paying a lot of fees now it is your responsibility school's responsibility is better than that they feel True. but i feel that school should only create the atmosphere True. they should only uh, inject them that it is your do the child is a product you know it's a yes. partnership yes it's a partnership and this product has to be cherished by all True. you will miss it the bachpan of the child if you will not give your time true you know so you have to become a horse for him you b- make yourself you have to i i Don't heard this be. you know you, you remind me of what i what i read uh, i was reading a book by robin sharma and there was a mm-hmm. line that said uh, it said that you know love your kids hug your kids while they are young because they'll only be young once yes and <laughs> Very uh, true. and uh, since they'll be only young uh, only young once give all you can yes. not in terms of pampering and yes. I, i'm picking up the point of what you said Uh, although fathers out there you might not be very happy but let me put it that way uh, see if you are seen as a financer uh, in the whole in the whole process of parenting i somewhere feel that uh, we have to you know you are my counterpart so i'm talking from the male's perspective now. so you are my counterpart so i think we have to i'm rather saying we because i'm on your side uh, we have to probably raise our uh, level to 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 a certain place where we are not seen as a financer Okay. we are also seen as an equal parent so that hamare bare mein log kam baat kare <laughs> <laughs> don't and, take it otherwise no, I, I, my yeah. only aim was this that sometime we, not even the fathers even yeah. mothers also they are working so they are also feeling that uh, we don't have time yeah. so i think child needs uh, your time yes better than the present you are giving you know me right i i i, <laughs> I, I probably sometimes say things on a lighter note so i took it in the best of the spirits but yes yeah. uh, but you did make a crucial point that Uh, see it's during the ptm also we see that and and nobody can hide this truth mm-hmm. that if you actually map everybody on the camera and see how many fathers and how many mothers show for a ptm so i will give my answer only i know it's <laughs> just like that <laughs> because uh, actually speaking they provide everything whatever the child needs Correct. okay they may be searching out the best school of their Correct. choice that's also good Correct. good enough they rush a lot and they select the uh, school and then they get admitted that's fine so everything is fine but after that also they search for uh, getting the child making the child happy by giving them good presents but the crux of everything is this that i must say that they do not need your presents they need your presence wow the that, quality time that, that's powerful can yes. you repeat that for us they do not so let me use the arguments <laughs> Yeah. And then, <laughs> and recall, so they do not need your presence they need your presence they, they do not need your presence gifts you give yeah. they need your presence madam i got that in the first go <laughs> <laughs> yes so they, they they don't need your presence ts the gifts they need your presence yes they that, need the presence that's, because that's, if you are giving them the quality time they would always uh that time is a fruitful time which you are giving True. to the child True. we are not telling you to teach them math science anything else True. content no content listen so, listen to that coming from an educator right <laughs> do not only focus on content focus yes. on yes folk they should focus on their competency True. what kind of competency let's say the ma- mother is a wonderful uh, mm. chef she can cook well right. so she can teach that part only and with that only she can teach maths Right. and knowingly or unknowingly mm-hmm. the child of class 4 or 5 is knowing fractions right. how much mom uh, let me uh, right. mom says that let me teach you how to let let's make cake true true proportions proportions yeah learning so right. this is what you want teachers to do in the school true. art education they do the inter- uh, uh, integration of all subjects they are doing so mothers are also teachers true and they can do it 
they can just open up their wardrobe and tell the colors of their sari to pick up True. so what not they can do True. they can do everything so very 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 so, appropriately said yes. that you know the uh, the parents are also the their own that competency they provide, uh, that's also a school father is working in an it company he is working for the social life and everything yeah. society is doing it right. but he forgets his own son Correct. at times yeah. so he he say it's not your job you are abhi chote ho aap बाद में करना क्यों छोटा नहीं है वंस ही हैज कम टू द वर्ल्ड ही कैन डू एनीथिंग फादर इज जस्ट चेंजिंग द स्टेपनी और समथिंग एंड से डोंट टच दीज आर टूल्स डोंट टच ही से यस कम सिट हियर सी हाउ आई एम डूइंग एंड दिस इज स्क्रू ड्राइवर दिस इज दिस दिस इज दैट सो दिस इज कॉल्ड होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट दिस इज वेरी पावरफुल सो इट हैज टू बी देयर फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग व्हाई डू यू फील दैट ओनली इन द फोर वॉल्स क्लासरूम्स दे लर्न दे विल नॉट लर्न एनीथिंग प्रैक्टिकली दे लिव at home they are only here for some moments and they cherish the society the social life here Correct. they don't come here to read and study and all such things oh. you see in this pandemic if you ask a child yes. he'll say my mom is better than my mom my mom always become cranky about my studies <laughs> my mom is better i see you're pretty good at uh, you know uh, having some great taglines i picked the previous one when you said uh, Uh, focus on competencies and yes. not on the content so yes. i think that's again a key message for you to take uh, develop competencies and do not focus only on content so we can say it in three yes. words you know yes. uh, competency and not only the content yes why because if the child you see why i quoted these lines because i am studying out i'm doing i'm crazy about these kinds of things my phd is also about the analytical state uh, examination system of uh, the secondary level Wonderful. so i did it very seriously because i was shocked when a child comes to class 9th or 10th parent uh, child is good at theater child is good at sports everything master in holistic development whatever they wanted right. so as soon as he comes in 9th and 10th parent will come Ma'am, uh, now he is in tenth. He is not going to participate in any of the zonals. No play, no nothing. Now he has to focus on his studies. He want to get ten CGPA. I said, okay, fine. You won't understand because if I am trying to change you, right. I will not be able to. But if I want to make your child a holistic person, I can, because. it's not a renovation he is in my hand he is a new person for you i have to do the renovation which is difficult <laughs> so let it be so i did it i'm sharing the experience of my own the child was the head boy right. uh, everything he did when the prize was announced he was national level theater artist also because he brought the school there so when i announced i was over uh, when with all the activities he did with me and father was shocked to hear when i announced that he brought this thing he's a good orator he is a good theater person and he has uh, brought the doris to the school sure. by winning this trophy for national award also so father said he said when did you do all these things i told you not to do it my son <laughs> so he said ma'am then the boy said papa i'm sorry i hide everything from you right. but i give this credit to ma'am because ma'am supported me like a parent that's, that's this is the real story i'm sharing it and the father had tears in his eyes at that time and he said main maafi chahta hu maine aise kiya maine kaha aap main maafi chahti hu ki aap se humne chupaya but aapne ye heera hame diya so he has given a lot of support to all zone he was a good basketball player also they are also he got the team to the uh, i think winner thing hum log second position thi hamari and even in the theaters he brought the first prize it's brilliant so and he every time told me ki mere papa ko nahi batana maine kaha bete don't worry nahi batayenge papa ko sirf ye batayenge aapka 10th cgp aaya 10th mein that's it so that was the story that's a very powerful story and i think the message that i see uh coming out of this is that if you as a parent if you do not infuse your trust uh, not everybody not every child will find somebody outside yes. their home who will unlike you place yes. their trust in them very true you people will not find you won't find people outside your home who will actually infuse uh, you know their interest their time their energy their effort into your child of course that happens in a school but then 
the first responsibility that I see in the conversation is that it, it should be the father, it should be the mother, it should be the yes, parent parents. who should be uh, infusing their interest in the child, uh, their trust in the child because I believe Yes, uh, whatever they are doing, they should participate everything. They should see my child is a good artist, let me put some efforts to make him a good artist. Let it be. If he's a good player, my my support should be like this, how to get you a good things for all these things so that you can be a good player. Yeah. I have a wonderful chess player also. The child is very nice and he is in class 7th at present. His father is going day and night with him to do whatever he that's, wants to do. And model. I just told him that he is a very good uh, Good, good at academics also, right. but still sometimes when they say that uh, his academics miss hota because I have to take him to the coaches and all other things, I said don't worry, right. why do you worry, academics hi koi chinta nahi hai, till it no worries at all, baad mein mein isko support karun, no worries. So you oh. have a father, hmm. uh, so you have two case studies there, I have I three, see. I'll, I can tell you gymnast may be national award, Khelo right. India said there were right. two lakh rupees also, right. two girls are there. Both the parents are doing wonderful thing and they always give credit to me. Which so when I got this national award, I said, I don't teach students, I teach parents. Wonderful. Because if parents are not, family is not. I think that's a message out there no, for you. Do, <laughs> that's a message for you out there. So we, we, we heard about two fathers, one who, who, was not, uh, support, who was not really supportive of the child and the child was doing very well. He's but a he was hiding. He's like, uh, he said, we have to study in English. Correct. But, but, but the child was hiding the, child was hiding. the, the truth. Under my leadership, he said, Aap ho saath mein hai. Main ka, Don't worry at all. Papa ko bilkul pata nahi it's the power of the trust. You know? <laughs> yes. And, and I would want to take this opportunity to talk about, see, the word, it's a five letter word T R U S T, trust. Yes. The moment you remove the T, you are left with trust. trust. Very right. So a relationship without trust is nothing but, uh, it's we are left with trust. Yes. And then it uh, becomes difficult to remove it and get the. Uh, shine. <laughs> very true, very true. Now, now let's say, uh, you know, times have changed and, uh, you know, pandemic happened and, you know, things are happening. Uh, parents are struggling, kids are struggling, there are different types of struggles. What would be your, uh, so let's say if you have to give top three messages, uh, what would be your top three messages to the parents? If you talk about 2020, I think I have embraced 2020 with open arms. Okay. First thing. Yeah. Second thing I would say, people say that it is a zero year. I say it's a hero year. Okay. I can prove it. I can tell you if you tell me to speak about uh, positivities of that. I'm right. a, I'm a damn positive. It is. I'm. I am a positive thinker, and I feel that it is. It is not that you look at the things are is is important. How do you look is very very important. So perceptions are important. Right. So 2020 has been a zero year for many, but I can prove it as a hero year. Hero year. This is the chunk line of that. And the second thing I have learned that parents have become very close to their children right. in 2020. Right. Right. So I think that that was the power. They are becoming so close, and that power has made yeah. them to fight for this. Ki admissions kolo, ohne chahiye. This year should not go. 2020 mein jo hua, us usme sikha unhone ki 2021 ab nahi kharab hona chahiye. But choka, so usko jaldi se jaldi admission chahiye. So you look at it in a bright way. Bright way. I get that. You, yes. You look at it from an angle that you know positivity is very yes. very crucial now. Uh, and I must say at the end that yeah. the all bricks houses right. have become homes in 2020. Yeah. That's powerful. You know because love has flown like anything. True. True. Each child who is be he is of three years or he is of 13 years True. has become an asset for the family. Right. So I, I have a I have a a, a counter uh, you know answer to this mm -hmm. one. And I would take your inputs on the same. You know, when you say that the the house has become a home, yes, uh, it has only happened wherein there is enough love. Yes, you know, love is it. You know, love is at all places. Love but and care too. So we are care caring too. for each other. But yes, there are families wherein the relationship between uh, that's where I was looking for your inputs as well. Mm -hmm. There are families wherein the relationship between the parent and the child is not that cordial, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, for that house to become a home that for that child it might not be a home so what would you recommend to those parents some suggestions wherein uh, they can they can on general ideas okay. on parenting 
Okay. Which will make a difference in converting that house into a home. I love the phrase house to a home. Yeah. So, so some so ideas. That's why I was telling that if you, you said very well about trust. See, home is only built on the foundation of trust. So this also I have learned when a child grows. Maybe in primary years parents may not feel that that is lacking. But when the child grows and when he hides something from yes. parents. This is where when they are adolescents, they, they are running in that age where they don't, they like friends better than their parents. So that's, that's why I tell that when parents feel that their job starts when the child comes in their lap, they should be very healthily built in that trust. And you very well you have explained trust. I agree to it. I always second that thing that if it is rusted, it cannot be changed. Okay. So it has to be that powerful time which you have with your child is giving you the inspiration to become uh, more closer to the child okay. and build in that trust. Parenting is not a destination, you know. Okay. You cannot say that after a year or I after three I... years, <laughs> my parenting is stopped, now school will take care. No, not no, at no, all. No. Yes, it's a journey. It's a journey and raising a child is a 20 year project I must say. It's not an easy project. If you start a project and you start a business, you feel that how much I have to invest in the same way. So we need only investment of your time, quality time, nothing else. We don't want anything else. And why did I say that competency of yours is important to know? Whatever you are competent with, at least flow the teaching of that competency with the child. So when you give time, of course, you will say, I love maths. Why don't you, come on, let's do something. Let's play chess. Let's do this thing. That's why now this Baiju's and all these Correct. things have come. When the Baiju's he'll do it. Correct. I love maths, but Baiju's se karta hai. What is it? Usko dekho, add ko dekho. Why do they say partner ban jate hai? Correct. Partner ban na hai. It has to be partner. And that's the message. Yes. Uh, so you are not a parent, but you are a partner. Yes, love, of course. I'm loving the fact that there are there are some great uh, one-liners <laughs> coming out of the conversation. So you are not a parent, you are a partner in the whole process. And it's a it's a 20 years project on, on, a, on, a, you know, on a laughing note and on a lighter note. If you're not a parent yet and you're still watching this, you remember that when you become a parent, it's going to be a 20 year project. So, yes. <laughs> and, and, you know, become a parent with that intention, right? So now, uh, you know, parents, they keep on saying ki bache seekhe, nahi nahi cheeze seekhe, mm -hmm. that will help them in the real life. So what, what is your take? What skills should they learn at an early age, which will make a difference? See, at early age, they don't learn well, anything. Actually, they are learning. Let's say during the school years. Haan, school years, if you say. So, I think only learn for learning, they should not come to school. Hmm. Some kind of things, I have proved this thing with uh, my studies that unlearning is also very important. Very crucial. Because whatever you are bringing from home, at times we feel it is not good. It should not be like this. Mm -hmm. It should be in this way. So, how to make you unlearn? So that's a skill too. Yes, that's a skill. That that's a skill. And so learning to unlearn is a skill that uh, yes. we should have as parents and also we should pass it on to our kids. Okay. See, if spouse is talking to each other right. in a way which is not admissible. Right. So we have to unlearn that. True. True. We have to say, no, but no, there's nothing like that. Okay. So the child is sad, he is not in a mood, he, is, he says that I'm depressed. Right. The word, heavy word. Correct. Because he must have heard it from the parents. Okay. Do you feel that teacher says this thing? No one says like this. And their uh, emotions, the teacher, actually child is not uh, taught anything. He always learn it from the environment. In the culture that yes. he is. Yes. So whatever environment is there at home, he is yeah. learning. And whatever he is learning at school, practically he has to prove everything there. True. Okay. If he doesn't get time to prove it, if he doesn't get space to prove it, if he doesn't get anybody to speak something, Correct. what he has learned at school, true. so what will he do? Very true. So, so they need to have, a, huh. they need to learn to unlearn. Yes. They need to have a culture which is conducive something to Something which their is very growth. stubborn in them. We, right. we feel very hard to, uh, okay, you have to unlearn this thing. This is right. not true. This is true. Right. So the distance between these two, the bridging up the gap between right. home and uh, school. Why right. do we call 
parent always say Correct. your school is your second home Correct. at least you should take care of your first home first Correct. school will be taking care of the second home that's very true, true. but many a times it has been seen that only school is a home for a child that's he that's he lives with the friends at school, yeah. he loves to go to school, he doesn't want to stay at home. Yeah. These kinds of things also come in. There's, there's, so a, why so? there's a power message yes. that if, if the school becomes the first home for your child, you must consider what is going wrong. Hmm. If, the school becomes the <laughs> first school, if the school becomes the first home for your child, you must consider and see what is really happening. I think it's time for introspection to yes. uh, see. Now, uh, you, you have been an yeah. ardent fan of uh, life skills and you have written books on the subject. Mm -hmm. uh, you speak about holistic development. The school, uh, congratulations again, you have received the holistic development <laughs> award. Uh, now, I'm sure school is following a lot of practices. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you throw some light on uh, what actually got you this holistic development award and what kind of practices are the, is the school following? Okay, I think uh, if I should not be very scientifically touching the new NEP, sure. which has come now, I think that we are practicing the same thing from past two to three decades. Even when it was not introduced? Even, because it was, it was perceived like that, I think, yeah. because when you are a true learner, true yeah. teacher, you should always be giving flexibility to teachers. That is there in new NEB. Sure. Sure. Flexibility to students. Sure. That is there in NEB. Yeah. And there was a very, uh, I think, fleshy kind of word, bag day, okay. which has come now. Okay. now. So from the past three years, right. actually, I am doing learning beyond books day, LBB day. LBB, which is learning beyond learning books. Learning beyond books. Right. And that is bad less. So on that of, day, you are ahead of the NEP. I don't <laughs> know. I don't know, but I I really relish it. That yeah. and I am something like that. कि अच्छा हुआ मैं तो ये सब कर रही हूँ मुझे NEP से कोई problem नहीं होगी क्योंकि NEP is actually we are doing and when it was CCE pattern I must tell you that my children only five children got ten CGPA others are at ninety eight ninety nine ten नहीं है because I don't want to pose that out of hundred students मेरे तो fifty ही ten CGPA आ गए no, or when the board came, then I got 17. Wow. So what is it? It is what that what you do. For me, learning is for learning, not for assessment. Not for assessment. That is the only mantra which I quoted years back has proved it. That your learning has to be for learning only. Enjoy it. You are learning it for your future. I picked you up another line. It. Yes, this <laughs> line has to be taken. Okay, so, so learning is for learning. Not for assessment. Learning is for learning and not for assessment uh, is the message. So while you are as a parent, while you are yes. teaching something uh, to your child, it's for him to learn and probably put it into the real use, yes. but not really to assess. Uh, it's not for the assessment. assessment. So you're not testing him all the time. Where parent has started assessing only that I need 90%, I need you to be there in the DU, even 98% will not be taken there. The DU is going like that. Sure. Mark system is something else. One, two, three, start. So, so that's a powerful point that you did speak about, you know. So DU has about 97-98% marks going in for admissions. And despite that, there is a challenge with admissions. So I'm not saying that academics are not important, but the message which is coming yes. out is, that do not singularly focus on academics, look at the overall development because in a class of 40 kids, we have about mm -hmm. 40 kids in 40, a section. 40, yes. So what do you think out of 40 kids, how many of them would actually score 95, 96? My experience in the last 10 years has been that not more than out of a class of 40 kids, not more than 5, 6, 7 of them uh, score about 1995. Mm -hmm. uh, does that mean that the others will not be successful? Well, that's not the case. If we provide them with the real, the overall development, even they will, you know, chart out their own path and they'll do very well. So it's not about marks, it's about leaving a mark. Yes. How about that? Yeah. Very nice, very so, nice. So uh, it's not about the marks, it's about they leaving a mark. Yes. That's what they mean. That's why you, when you ask about all these things, that holistic development okay. and all such kind of things, I think you should be very clear about it sure. that all round development means that you should ask the child first what exactly he wants to come out. Come out. So if he wants to become a player, let him do 
total uh, focus, focus should not be on academics then. Mm-hmm. So how can it be possible that he has to leave for two years or three years if he has left the participation of cricket or something? Mm-hmm. How can he be there for a future? Mm-hmm. He cannot be. Itne saal ho gaye, aapko karte ho, uske baad to kuch nahi hoa, ab kuch nahi hoa. This is mm-hmm. not a Have mm-hmm. patience for all mm-hmm. these things. Right. And if he gets percentage, why did I ask for learning? For le- learning is for learning. And not not for assessment. assessment is only <laughs> the <laughs> mantra because I think if you feel ki iski to padhai jaise bhi chal rahi hai theek hai even when I take the teachers in recruitment I am very genuine about it if a teacher comes with the uh, a whole like uh, I'm a gold medalist and physics and all such things I say fine you're a gold medalist but let me see the other teachers too. Correct. A teacher who is 70% teacher, Correct. 70% with 70% marks is a good teacher because she must have lived her student life Correct. as the and she must have taken back something that what mistakes she did that she got 70% not 90% right. so who got parents. 90% yes who got 90% is boost up with the ego that I am a gold medalist right. so what I am telling is the right thing right. so he or she will be the only a uh, dominant teacher in the class Correct. he may not make all other 40 lives Correct. he may not give chance to them yeah, so for sector. me that is why i told that content is not important competency is important Correct. you may be a good student you got yeah. gold medals it's fine but you may not be a good teacher True. True. you don't know how to reach the child True. you True. may be good student Correct. maybe you cram maybe you learn or whatever Correct. you do Correct. you may get marks Correct. so getting marks is not important Correct. for me Proving yourself a good human being first is important. Then you can turn over. That's why my idea goes to the life skills and all. 21st century skills are all life skills. skills, So my books also speak about that. It's not the moral education ki jo sada sach bolo, jhoot ne bola. It's nothing like that. Practice it. Practice it. How would you practice it? If you talk about cooperation and you say that uh, we cannot live in team, we cannot say, even the monitors mm-hmm. always write the names of his Correct. enemies, Correct. not the friends. Correct. So why do we need a monitor? True. Mind True. yourself. Very powerful. From the beginning I am telling I don't need any monitor, I don't need any prefect in the class. You all have to manage yourself, you know what are the code of your class. Correct. Correct. So it's okay. Correct. So human beings are to be made in the classes. True. True. They are not, they will, when they will be thrown in the ocean after 12, True. then you feel they will become human being. No. So the then goal society is, will snatch them, whatever they are. True. So the goal is to develop a human beings good human inside being the four walls. Yes. With, uh, with good life skills. So yes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of life skills. I've, I've taught them, I teach them. Hmm. But today, you know, I'm going to take your inputs. Mm-hmm. Uh, what life skills do you think? Maybe a couple of them See. that will come in handy for kids to learn during the school years. Life skills are two words. Right. One is life. Life. Okay. Yes. So, do you feel that a child comes to school and with a frowning face teacher, he is being taught and he is doing it? Yeah. So, do you feel that he is living in the class? Mm. No. no. So, life gone. Life gone. Okay. Yeah. So, what skill you are being trained? Okay. So, you are teaching him yeah. or you are giving him the problems and right. solutions and everything. Right. So is that the only skill you are passing on? Right. So teachers have to change. That's right. right. We are responsible for that. We will change them. Right. Okay, we will tell the teachers that okay, you have to come up. If you have 12 chapters in your index, right. you right. should have 12 methods with right. you. Don't right. be monotonous. Don't be the child doesn't wait for your methods to come up. He wants for his method. That's why physics teacher, my physics teacher has come up with a, uh, with he has, she has given the open idea. So one boy who is good at writing uh, poetry and all, he has come up with a rap. He has come up with a rap with the uh, Newton's law of motion. So So this is what, because 40 minds are there. When creativity. 40, yes, creativity, creativity. opening yeah. up, that is skill, na? that yeah. is skill. Yeah. What skill yeah. a rapper is having, the teacher is not having. Not having Maybe the person who is...